Can we recreate an observer? No, I have a feeling we can't because no one has ever done this before. No one has ever done this before. If you go on YouTube and search, you find out there is no such video. But today I decided, you know what, to take the risk and try to build this thing myself. I have no plan. I have no idea I'm going to do this, but I want to take you through the journey of me trying to do this. So I don't want to waste any time. Wish me luck. So to, con to consider our observer recreated, we must firstly understand how, what is an observer and how it works. So this is an observer in case you don't know what an observer is. And I'm gonna explain how it works in a sec. But the thing that I don't know is that which one is the front. Because in, in each blog we know which one is the front and which one is the back. This one had a face. I don't know which, which one is the back. Is this the front? Is this, is this the face? Is, is the face? I mean the face always be at the front. So this must be the front. And then I guess it powers the block by its butt or something so it actually it had power blocks and if you don't know what hard powering is it's that it simply means that you can take a redstone output from that block that's been hard powered but if the block is soft powered that means if you it's hot it's hot is soft powered it's still powered but you cannot take a redstone output so you can really you can take a redstone output from it so the other thing you should know is that well it detects movement it detects change of movement so to do that let me just quickly show you that in a sec so I'm gonna place an observer here. Let me just place a piston. Okay, let me just place a piston here. Let me just power this. As you can see, that piston over there. Wait. Oh, yeah. As you can see, that piston over there fires. Did I say fires? <laughs> what am I saying? Even now, I'm still thinking. I have no idea. I, I just stopped for a little bit, for like half an hour, trying to figure out what's the first project that I could build to make this thing work. But this thing. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Monostable circuit. I say monostable circuit because right now I just think of mambo circuits. So mambo jambo built some, this thing called monostable circuit which allows us to take a one tick of an output from a constant output. So this thing is going to be really really helpful so I want to thank mambo for creating this thing. Ah, oh, finally we get something. So if this thing is a one tick output that means that over there must drop its block. As you can see if Despite it being a sticky piston, it, it turns into a normal piston. And when we move it, not when we move it, the same thing must happen, but nothing happens. So this put us to another type of monostable circuit called the falling edge. Sorry, is it? Yeah, it's the falling edge monostable circuit. I have a feeling this is going to be. This is not gonna work. This is not. This is really not going to work. But I, I, it doesn't have to try, doesn't it? Okay, now let me just place a repeater here. And then let me place a piston facing upward and a block here and then a block here. We need to increase this output taking. So what else? We need a block here, then we need a block here. And I think that's all. We just need a, a written dust coming out this way. Okay, I guess I can shorten it a little bit. So yeah, written does come out this way, and then we need another one here. Then we need a target block here, like this, because the target block help us redirect the signal. If you place a normal block here, like this, you can see that nothing is happening. This written this written does not pointing into this thing. So we use a target block because the target blocks will help us redirect the signal. As you can see, that now the written block that now this written does is pointed this block here. Wow, I've been talking for a, a lot of time right now. So let me place a a piston here and see if this thing works. So let me just quickly try to understand how it works. So we place a block here. This one is on two ticks. Then this one is on about three ticks because a torch is way, way slower to do things. So this is going to happen first. It's going to make this thing fire. Then when it fires, then this one is going to unpower. Then this one is going to go down and then the... Mm. I have a feeling this is not gonna work. So that happens, and then when we do this, nothing happens. So technically, our rising edge money stable our falling edge money stable circuit is not working. What can we do about it? So actually, the problem was that we need to place a repeater here pointing to this redstone because this redstone was coming out this way and we couldn't take we couldn't take a signal from a, a repeater so this block is getting a, a bit 
how power got bad we can actually it was not fast enough to give us an output here so this one was clearly not working it was still not doing anything so we, we needed a repeater pointing that rest on the dust over there now is the moment of truth it does work that means we're done if it does if the, if it doesn't work then we we still need to continue making the video because I'm not giving up unless this thing is fixed. So let's just go ahead and place the block here and see if it works. <sighs> I'll pull a get drop over there. Yes, I know what you're thinking. That's it. <sighs> not what I was expecting, but we're done. We're totally done. So subscribe. I'm so technically this is what's happening. You place a block here. Let me just quickly show you. You place a block here, then the whole thing happens. We get a take of an output on here. Even now I'm still disappointed in what I've just created. I was expecting something fascinating. So there we go. We have this. So to to show that it works, when you place a block, this must move here. And it must not retract it and then you remove the block you must retract it back and the way this will work here is that when you place a block here that should happen and we have a block moving away when we move the block we should get it may come back so that's the first fact and then the second one you should know is that we can actually take a rest on output from this thing let me just show that in a sec, but I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, how about we use this instead? We use this and we place a, a block here. So, if that's true, then we must have a rest on output. Yep, we can actually take one take output out of it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Now it's time for the moment you've been waiting for, which is... Dun, da, da, dun saying goodbye i mean tomorrow so consider subscribing if if you forgot to do that i know you didn't do it so just subscribe